In addition to using different panels, you'll also spend a lot of time in Photoshop switching tools. Now, almost every tool has a shortcut. For example, the Move tool has the shortcut of the V key. So if I tap the V key, it automatically selects the Move tool. If I tap the M key, we automatically select the Marquee tool. Now, if you don't know the keyboard shortcut for a tool, you can hover your cursor on top of the tool, and typically you would get a tooltip. However, in a previous video, I turned off the tooltip under Photoshop Preferences and then Tools. On Windows, this would be under your Edit menu and then Preferences. And it's this option right here to show tooltips or to show rich tooltips. The show tooltips, those are just the small little yellow tooltips like this that pop up, whereas the rich tooltips are actually the animations. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those off, but you might want to leave them on if you want to see those tooltips. You can also see the keyboard shortcut that's assigned to the tool by just clicking and holding on the tool. And if it has a shortcut, it will appear to the right of the tool's name. Tools that have this little triangle right here tell me that there are tools that are nested underneath them. When you click and hold, those tools will fly out. And it's interesting to notice that, for example, all of the different lasso tools all have the same keyboard shortcut, L. So if I tap the L key, I will get whatever lasso tool is selected. For example, if I switch to the polygonal lasso tool, and then I tap something like the M key to get the marquee tool, and then I tap L again, it will give me whatever tool is sitting here on top. So how would I get to the other tools? Well, I need to hold down the Shift key and tap the L key in order to cycle through all of the tools that have the same keyboard shortcut. Now, if you don't like that and you would prefer just to tap the L and have it cycle through without the Shift key, again, we have a preference for that. You can go to Photoshop and then Preferences and Tools, and then you can disable the Use Shift key for Tool Switch. But I prefer to keep that on, so I'll leave it on for now. Now, if you don't like the default order of the tools, or if you want to hide some of the tools that you don't often use, or maybe show some of the tools that are nested, we can customize the toolbar. We can do that one of two ways. We can go to Edit, and then scroll down and select Toolbar. Or from the toolbar itself, there's an ellipse icon, these three dots. You can click on that and then choose to edit the toolbar. So here we can rearrange the toolbar. So I could put the rectangular marquee tool underneath the elliptical marquee tool. I can hide tools by dragging them over here into the extra tool area. And I can split apart tools by just dragging them in between any of the tool groupings. We can see now that I have not only the rectangular marquee tool, but also the elliptical marquee tool in my toolbar. We can also change the keyboard shortcut for any of the tools. So for example, if I click on the M next to the elliptical marquee tool, and I decide that I want to change it to O, I could choose O. But that would remove it from the Dodge, Burn, and Sponge tools. So there is one key that is not used by default, and that is the N key. So I'll tap N and assign that to the elliptical marquee tool. Now, once you've gone through and you've set all of this up, you might want to save this as a preset by just clicking Save Preset, and then giving it a name, and saving it in the default location, click Save. Now, if I ever want to restore the defaults, I can just click Restore Defaults, and they're back to where we started. If I want to load those presets that we just created, I'll simply click Load Presets, and we can see that they're right there. All right, I'll cancel that and then click Done. And two additional tool shortcuts here. First of all, your, your tools are normally in just a single column, but if you wanted to put them into a double column because maybe you want to show a lot more tools than are shown by default, click on the two carrots there up at the top, and now we've got the two rows. We can just click it again in order to go back to single column. And if I ever want to reposition the toolbar, I can just click on the grabber handle, and I can either float it here, or I could bring it over to my other panels and I could dock it. For now, I'll go ahead and drag it back and then dock it when I see that vertical cyan line to the left-hand side of the monitor.
So as you can see, the tool setup in Photoshop is very flexible. And don't worry about learning all of the shortcuts to all of the tools right away. You'll learn the ones that you need, and soon enough, it'll be second nature just to use the keyboard shortcut to quickly access the tools you want.